universe, there is one great energy and we have no name for it. People have tried various names for it, like God, like Brahman, like Tao. But in the West, the word God has got so many funny associations attached to it that most of us are bored with it. But according to Buddhist philosophy, all this universe is one tatata. -ta -ta. That means 10,000 functions or 10,000 things, one suchness. And we're all one suchness. That you are really a playing of this one energy and there is nothing else but that, that it is you, but that uh, for you to be always you would be an insufferable bore. And you suddenly see through the whole sham of things. You realize you, you're that, we won't put a name on it. You're that. And you can't be anything else. So you are relieved seeing that all life is a magnificent illusion, a playing of energy, and there is absolutely nothing fundamentally to be afraid of. The entirety of the universe is walking around in you. What are you left with when you ignore, when you disregard that external reality? How does your sense perception change? How does your state of being change? How does your state of consciousness shift its sense of identity? When you stop referencing an outside world, when you stop feeling like there is anything but your presence, anything but your preference, anything but your state of being, anything but that which you see, how does that shift things? You can go back and forth if you want. You can, oh, wait a second, he is outside of me. And then you can go back to simply dismissing that and feeling the non-physicality that you're left with, the spaciousness, the state of being that you're left with, the creator seat, that's your creator space, that's your holodeck, it's your creation station. And you would stop referencing that there is something beyond your bubble or not your bubble, but your vision, your creation, that there's something beyond your consciousness. What if you had simply stopped referencing that and change your relationship to the things you see and the people you meet from, oh, they are external creatures to they are my manifestations, manifestations of my own essence, of my own being. They are being placed there by me. They are poppins. They are creations. They are amazing creations of the one that I am. And now you can start, since all there is, is you anyway, you can start to shape that. You can start to paint that. You can start to overpower that, overwhelm that with your chosen preference. Until all you see, regardless of whom you're looking at, is what you prefer. Until all you see is who you choose to be in that moment. Until all you see this is the frequency you choose to overwhelm your creation with. What if all you experience is the frequency, the preference that you experience in that moment, that you choose to prefer in that moment? 